Hello Virgo and welcome to your new moon in Virgo tarot reading. So obviously this is going to happen in your first house Virgo. So uh, on the 14th or 15th of September. So let's see what the focus is going to be for your personal growth and self-improvement, your self-image. We're going to draw some oracle cards and then we're going to uh, ask the Earth Alchemy Oracle for some guidance obviously being an earth sign i thought like it would be good to get some earth oracle ideas right so all the cards that i'm using are in the description box below and let's see what the tarot cards have for you virgo so the main energy is the the five of swords reversed which is good because it's this is literally about you understanding that there isn't any gain between between people that argue or bicker, right? There's nobody here to gain anything else except like, I don't know, like a boosted ego. Um, the idea is that you're upright. The Five of Swords is talking about like a, an exchange of words that is not productive for anyone an exchange of ideas or just a form of how should i say back and forth around some values that are not necessarily conducive to any sort of progress so in reverse it's not, it, it may be something that you you might not realize it's something around you that is making you triggered to kind of like attack people verbally without any sort of like uh, main reason so let's see what the clarifiers have so we have the knight of cups we have the world card and we have the ace of wands so there's definitely here the need to focus towards seeing the bigger picture right the world card is talking about like completion as well uh, it's talking about reaching that level of expertise in the field or just self-realization and also having that wisdom of seeing things after they complete seeing things um, and understanding the reasons behind actions that have been leading to this point right so the world card is also very a very visible card so with this new moon in virgo i feel there is going to be this emphasis on your image emphasis of what you have achieved you have to end things in order to begin new things but this is going to give you the new beginning from a different level right um or every time that we complete a level there's another level of attainment that we need to start focusing on so i feel like this is going to be more around um things that you really really feel that are suitable to your life's purpose to your soul's meaning i feel like you're going to have the opportunity to look at things in a very very passionate way in a very um exciting new way and this offer might come from someone that is truly trying to trying to make you see that there's like some positive intentions in the world right so you have to pay attention to anything that is coming from from people that really um want to show you that there's some positive hope in front of you right so even if you are at a certain level someone comes in and is offering you an opportunity to do something that is it's a bit the offer is a bit emotional for you it's triggering some some feelings inside of you that you know that you have to address you know that you have to close chapters in order to move on so you have to be really careful about the offers that you are receiving may make sure that anything that you're starting at this point is starting from a position of passion a position of something that is really really rooted in what you love doing and i feel like this is something that is holding you back these conversations that you have with someone or people not 
being supportive of you it has really stuck with you and it's time for you to understand your position it's time for you to uh, truly understand your power in choosing your own future right so this is literally calling you um, out on why are you focusing on the small arguments or people that really don't um, don't matter at this point in your life when you should be focusing on something that is going to make your heart um, beat faster and make you really see the passion in your life right so let's see what the alchemy oracle has for you with alchemy so let's see virgo we have stromatolite and fern strip back and simplify look to your origins now fern as you might know is one of the oldest plants on the planet going back to the uh, going back to the prehistoric um, times and it's talking about the fact that there are patterns there are there are revelations that are coming from your background that you need to seek in order to understand why you react to certain things there's some structures within yourself that have been built throughout time from your ancestors that you need to address and to do that you need to simplify everything in your life to go straight to the um straight to the source right straight to the source and that means clarify all of the the thoughts that are not really rooted within your own uh, soul really let that like connect with that instinct part of yourself to show you who you truly are and that means that you can definitely let go of all of the chatter around you right and it will help you focus on who you truly are and who you need to be in the future this is a beautiful beautiful um, circle cycle of life a cycle of lives and and just going back to your internal script going back to your internal code in your dna to understand exactly what you came here to do right so it's a very strong reading for you virgo obviously this new moon is going to focus that energy of new beginnings in your own self-development area so make sure you pay attention to, to who you truly are Virgos, thank you so much for being here and hope to see you soon. Take care.